Do you ever get frustrated trying to generate an AI image because you're not getting what you had in mind? And maybe you're having trouble trying to put into words what you see in your mind's eye. Or is that just me? Leonardo AI just introduced something called flow state that might help us with that. Let's take a look. I'm on the Leonardo AI homepage. I'm logged in and I'm gonna click image creation, the big button in the center. Up at the top, just below the prompt box, we wanna click this button that says flow state. If you don't have an idea in mind and you just wanna play around with flow state, you can use one of these inspirations, but we're gonna try something of our own. I'm gonna start by just typing in dogs in the park. Then I'll click generate and holy moly, look at all the different takes we have on dogs in a park. We've got them in the dark, we've got them in the street lights, we've got them in the sunlight, we've got illustrations, we've got things that look more like photos, we've got them running, we've got colors and words. These are all dogs in the park, but look at all the different ways you can have dogs in the park. Now, I didn't give it details in my prompt. I didn't say a photograph. I didn't say what time of day. I didn't say how many dogs. I didn't say anything about what the park looked like or the lighting or the style or any of that stuff. So it gave me a whole bunch of different ways to interpret dogs in the park. This one's really wild. We can click it and zoom in, but that's not really what I was going for. It was just interesting enough to take a look at. Which, by the way, if I find something here I like but isn't what I'm going for right this minute, I can click the save button to keep it in my library, or I can hit the download button real quick, it'll download it, and then I can keep on going, dialing in on what it is I'm looking for. Now as I'm scrolling down through, and I don't know where it ends, but it's uh, still scrolling and giving me a lot of different images to look at. Let's say this one right here is pretty close to what I had in mind. I can come down and click the more like this, and then Flow State generates more images that start to match those characteristics. You can see them over on the left. The shot type is dreamy, the color theme complementary. And now I've got a whole new batch that I can look through and see, oh, look at these guys running. Ah, oh, I like these even better. So let's go more like this. Now we're starting to bring my idea into focus. Apparently what I'm looking for is some happy little moving dogs in a park that's got some sunshine going on. It's photorealistic. And I really like almost every single one of these. So it would just be a matter of picking which one I really, really like the best. And maybe this one fits the bill for the image I need right now for whatever project I'm on. I can save it or download it just like I could at any other point in this process. I can also upscale it. It's currently at 1020 by 1024, but if I wanted to just from right here go ahead and upscale it, I could do that. Perhaps even better, what if I ended up down a rabbit hole that was taking me further away from what I wanted than getting me closer to it? Well, up here at the top, you have these steps, one, two, three. So we're in the third step down in the flow state. And if I need to back that up and go, yeah, I took a turn somewhere up here earlier, like if I want to go back to the second step, just click the two, and now I'm back to all those images that it gave me at the second step. I don't even remember which one of these that I picked, but let's pick something totally different this time. Let's go this way. And now we end up with images that look like this. And of course I can save or download any of these as I'm scrolling through. I can also upscale, or if I find something and I wanna go a little bit deeper into the flow state, well, I can just say more like this and we'll go a little bit deeper. And now the images are becoming much more similar. This is as deep as we can go, which is probably a good idea because you could end up in here forever, but that doesn't mean that you're finished and you have to accept something that's here. You could definitely take one of these images that's down at this level, use it in image guidance, take it into the editor and make changes with it, or just take the prompt and start generating all over again. And you won't be starting all over with your original prompt. Remember we said dogs in a park, but now look at what's been added to our prompt up here. We have a lot more detail. So if we were to generate from this prompt with flow state still enabled, well now we've just eliminated a whole bunch of styles and a whole bunch of things that we probably didn't want, we just didn't know we didn't want them. And we can go from here up to four levels deep in the flow state. But I'm gonna clear out the prompt and these settings over here. Just click this little button here. It looks like an undo and it brings you all the way back to the starting point of flow state where you have a fresh screen. Let's go with something really simple here, a beautiful woman. And then let's look at some of these settings over here under the style so that we can dial things in right from the get go. 
We start with Vibe, we can leave that on Automatic, a roll of the dice, or we've got all kinds of different options here. Color Sketch, Logo, Street Photo, Sci-Fi, Origami, Anime. I'm not going to read all these, but there's a whole bunch of them. I'm going to pick Street Photo, and we can come over on the left and click each of them one by one, or we can just go across the top here from Vibe to Lighting. And, oh my gosh, we've got some lighting options here. We could make our Street Photo in the fog. That would be pretty cool, or Backlit. Some of these would work really well with a street photo. Let's try luminous, that looks interesting. Then we'll go over to shot type. How handy is this? Low angle, overhead, epic. And each one of these, it gives you a preview of what we're talking about. The close up of the cat, that is just too much. Uh, I've never seen cute as a shot type, but that definitely qualifies. Macro, high angle, spiritual. Let's go with epic. And then we've even got color theme. How about this? Dang on. Earth tones, complimentary, deep teal, jet black, burk blue. Some of these are just really popping out to me. Man, we've got everything from the cinematic to the iridescent. What the heck would our shot look like if we did iridescent? I've got to try that out. Okay, so we've got all four of those set. We'll go ahead and close that out. We can pick the dimensions. I'm going to leave it on one by one square because that just works really well for preview in here. And then prompt enhance lets the AI do its magic, enhancing our prompt. So we're going to leave that on. We've got a street photo, luminous lighting, epic shot type, iridescent color theme, how horrible is this going to come out? Well, let's find out. Good grief, these aren't horrible at all. These are some freaking cool images. There's differences here, not only in the interpretation of a beautiful woman, but also in the style. Everything from this, which could be totally realistic, up to something like this, which is obviously more artistic. And they're both super cool. I think they all meet the criteria of our prompt, a beautiful woman. Now, since we have provided so much information up front, I wonder how deep in a rabbit hole, how detailed can we get with these things from this point? And the only way we're going to know is to try it. I'm having a really hard time picking one of these to keep going with. All right, I think I'm going to go with this one. So let's say more like this. Now we're in the second level of the flow state. And I don't know how many images this one generates per level of depth in this flow state, but it's a lot. I'm not sure if I made the right choices with the luminous lighting and the iridescent color scheme. So let's go back to our first level and we'll cut out the color theme and we will cut out the lighting. And let's change our shot type to cinematic. All right, close that and hit generate. And by golly, we're in a whole different direction here. Now with the lighting on automatic and the color theme on automatic, it's giving us a whole bunch of different variations, different options. This way, when we see something we like, if we click it and say more like this, well, we're gonna get more that follow that particular color theme or that lighting style. And of course, if I want to go back and start all over again completely, I can just hit this start again button, which looks like an undo, and we're back to the beginning. And if I don't want to use flow state at all, I can switch over to classic mode, which is right next to it. I really like that as you're going through with the flow state, you can grab any of these images that you like. You could just hit the save button, boom, they're in your library, or you can download them, or you can say, yeah, go ahead and upscale this as you're going along even if it's not exactly what you're looking for for the project you're working on right now, but you're like, hmm, I like that one. I don't want to lose it. So let me go back over to my library and remember that one in the very beginning, this one here of the dogs that I said it was really cool. It wasn't what I was looking for. Well, there it is. And since it's in my library, I have all the options available. I can click the little three dots and do the background removal, creative upscale, alternate upscale, edit it in the canvas, even do the image to motion or copy all the prompt details and generate it again. Now you might be wondering what the flow state costs. It says at the top here, for a limited time, paid users have virtually unlimited generations with flow state, no tokens required. And as I was going along experimenting with this, I did not see my token balance change at all. After the promotional period, flow state will use one token per image generated. I'm not sure exactly how that's going to work. I guess if you just keep scrolling and more images keep getting generated, they cost one token apiece as they generate. And if you're a free user of Leonardo, remember you have 150 tokens a day as a free user. It looks like during this promotion, free users can generate 150 images per day with flow state. And after the promotion, there'll be one token per image for free users, just like for paid users. So it appears that during the promotional period, free users, your 150 free flow state generations is separate from the 150 tokens. 
At least that's the way it's looking to me. And that is Flow State from Leonardo. When I first saw the title Flow State, I didn't know if it was some kind of a neurological mind trick electronic cyborg thing or if it had something to do with prostate problems, but I think what they produced is much better than either one of those.